Hey everyone welcome back to Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we are going to export videos in high quality with a lower file size in Premiere Pro. Once your video is edited and ready to render. You need to set your in and out points. Do this by moving the video playhead to where you want the opening frame of your rendered video to begin and press the I key on your keyboard. Then move the playhead to the end of your video and select the O key on your keyboard. The timeline will turn a darker color where your in and out points are selected. To export a video in Premiere Pro, go to File Export Media. You could also press the shortcut key Ctrl plus M on PC. This will bring up your export settings window if you want to bypass these custom settings and export with the exact settings of your sequence, you can select match sequence settings at the top. Although, I don't recommend this because most delivery destinations require codecs other than your common editing or intermediate codec. The best setting for web playback is the H264 codec. So, we'll select our format as H264. That is also the most common codec for video exports through Premiere. For 80-90% to of your exports, you'll be using H264. We'll select the preset that matches our sequence and desired output. Click the output name to specify an output name for the exported video file. Make sure that export video and export audio are both checked so the file has both video and audio. If you feel comfortable with changing settings to make them more customizable, you can do so in this window. Here's my recommended settings for most of my videos exported in Premiere. Click the Render at Maximum Depth box. The bit rate decides how big your file size will be. If you need a small file size, you can trim down your bitrate to minimize size. The size will be shown at the bottom of the window. Now, you can select Export. That's it. You just exported your finished video.